The M134 minigun is a well-known and iconic firearm in the United States. It's a multi-barreled machine gun that's known for its incredibly high rate of fire, making it one of the most devastating weapons in its class. Here are some key details about the M134. Origin and Development The M134 minigun was developed in the 1960s by General Electric as a scaled-down version of the M61 Vulcan cannon, which is an aircraft-mounted rotary cannon. The primary purpose was to create a lightweight, rapid-firing machine gun for use on helicopters and other military vehicles. Rate of Fire One of the most distinctive features of the M134 is its extremely high rate of fire. It is capable of firing up to 6,000 rounds per minute, although it is typically used at a slower rate to conserve ammunition and reduce barrel wear. Caliber The standard caliber for the M134 is 7. 62 by 51 mm NATO, which is a common rifle cartridge. This ammunition is belt-fed into the weapon. Variants. There are various versions and adaptations of the M134, including handheld versions, vehicle-mounted versions, and aircraft-mounted versions. The M134 is often used by the U.S. military for infantry support and defensive purposes. It has also found use in other countries and by law enforcement agencies. Usage. The M134 has seen action in numerous conflicts and military operations, including the Vietnam War, Gulf War, and more recently in Iraq and Afghanistan. It is often used for suppressing enemy positions, providing cover fire, and as a deterrent due to its firepower. Ammunition feed. The weapon is usually fed with linked ammunition belts, which can vary in length depending on the application. These belts can be stored in ammunition boxes or drums. Cooling. Given its high rate of fire, the M134 requires effective cooling to prevent overheating. Some variants are air-cooled, while others use a combination of air and water cooling to maintain a reasonable temperature during sustained fire. Civilian Ownership While the M134 minigun is primarily a military weapon, there are civilian legal versions available in the United States. These civilian models are heavily regulated and subject to strict legal requirements, making them extremely rare and expensive collectibles.